Semper Fi YouTube. Hey, uh, this is JSIM87 here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the M1A. Uh, this is a Springfield Armory loaded. Nothing's been done to it, but you may have noticed the white lettering. I've done that with a grease pencil and white out. Just use those as a combination. I like the white lettering because you can see the numbers better on the elevation drum. The elevation index line is more apparent. The windage gauge is more apparent. The line on the rear base is more apparent. It just makes it easier to see. But today what I'm going to talk about is how to calibrate your elevation drum for your 200 yard zero. Okay, I'm going to explain two things. If you bottom out the aperture, we'll call that bottom out. If you raise the aperture to its highest position, we will call that top out. Okay? So like I said before, first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to zero your gun at 200 yards. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take and count carefully the number of clicks it takes to bottom out your aperture. Okay? My gun was seven clicks. Usually it's eight to twelve clicks. Okay? Whatever your clicks are, the procedure will be the same. So now, let's calibrate the elevation drum. Okay? So with the aperture in its lowest position, you first want to do is take a uh, screwdriver, uh, slotted. Today I'm using a quarter inch. And you want to loosen the screw. Okay, just a little bit. Count out the number of clicks it takes. Uh, mine was seven, so let's count seven clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, unscrew the screw with your finger all the way. With this hand, you're going to secure the aperture in position. You need to keep the aperture from moving. With the other hand, you're going to rotate the elevation drum until the two lines up with the elevation index line. Okay, I need two hands. I'm going to put the camera down for one second. Okay, and uh, as you can see, I kept the aperture from moving by holding on to it tight and the two lines up with our elevation index line. Okay, now uh, with your finger you're going to put the screw back in having some difficulty don't know why I'll use the screwdriver. There we go. Screw it in until it stops. Okay, now with your right hand, you're going to hold the drum and keep it from moving. And with the other hand, you're going to use a screwdriver and tighten the screw. And uh, just tighten it, just tighten it not really tight. We'll do that later, but just tighten it to, um, just tighten it just a little bit, okay? And again, hold the drum, keep it moving. Very important. <clears throat> Put the camera down. I got one hand on the drum, the other hand on the screwdriver. I'm just going to tighten that screw just, you know, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, now I want to bottom out the aperture. I have to count up seven clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you can see, I was lucky. My two lines up with my elevation index line, which is what we want. You might have to do this two times, three times, four times. Okay? Uh, I got my sight calibrated. It checks. Double checked it. So now, uh, we want to tighten that screw securely. So now, top out the aperture high as it'll go. And then take your screwdriver and go ahead and torque this bitch down. Okay? 
Now, bottom out the aperture, count out seven clicks, and we were lucky, okay? Now, if it moves on you, you're going to have to redo the whole process again, okay? So, let me go over a summary of what I just did. I zeroed my gun at 200 yards. Then, I counted carefully the number of clicks it takes to bottom out my aperture. In this case, it was seven clicks. Then, um, I bottomed out the aperture. I unscrewed the screw just a little bit. And then, I went up seven clicks. Then, I completely loosened this screw. I held on to the aperture and rotated the drum carefully until the two lines up with the elevation index line in that position. Then, with my finger, I screwed in the screw. And then I held with one hand the drum and used the screwdriver, tightened the screw. Then I double checked my work to make sure seven clicks. Again, you don't always get lucky like I did and get on the first shot. Usually it takes two to three times. If everything goes well, raise the aperture to its utmost position. Then you can go ahead and tighten the screw down really good. And then bring the aperture back down and double check yourself. Okay? Now why is this a good thing? Well, basically I want to know in the future if I need to shoot a target at 200 yards, why my elevation needs to be set on. Okay? So in the future, if I'm shooting a target at 200 yards, I know exactly why I need to have my elevation on. Additionally, if I'm going to be shooting a target at 300 yards or 400 yards, I want to know how many clicks up from the two I need to have my sights on to hit a target at, say, 300 yards, 400 yards, 500 yards. Okay? Very important. So I hope uh, everybody learned something today. Uh, you can also do this on your M14s and your M1 Garands. I have yet to see a video done like this on YouTube. Surprising. This is a very important step that every uh, owner should know how to do. So uh, this is JSM99, uh, excuse me, JSM87 here. I got my damn name wrong. You believe that shit? Uh, first YouTube video. Oh, man, it's a beauty, ain't it? But, uh, signing off. Simplify, guys.